What's up gamers? Today we're going to be reviewing Mother Russia Bleeds. Now, this game is by Devolver Studios. It came out a few years ago. So why are we reviewing it now? Well, this was definitely one of those beat em ups that was kind of ignored, I think, and didn't get the love and respect that it should have gotten. It's an amazing game. And if you are a Streets of Rage fan, you are going to love this game. Now I'm going to warn you, this game is dark. I mean, it is really dark. You're gonna start off in the beginning picking from four different characters, Natasha, Ivan, Sergei, and my personal favorite, Boris, who looks like he's just a crazed madman. And it gets gritty and nasty right out of the gate. Once you've selected your character, you'll move forward into a tutorial, which really introduces the level of violence that you're going to be presented with throughout this game. Now, I personally find that being one of the more beautiful aspects of the game, call me dark and crazy, but it is really set in what feels like a 1980s rated R action movie pushed to the limits. I mean, I love the pixel art. It moves very smoothly, you know, it's just fun to look at, it's exciting to play. I, I don't know what to tell you, right from the beginning, from the tutorial, you kind of jump right in and you're beating the heck out of guys. They're corpses that are just going to be lying everywhere as you're learning these moves. And interesting enough, one of the ways that you power yourself is through something called Necro, which you can inject it into your neck, at least with this character, right? And what I chose as a loadout. Uh, and basically, you, you beat people until they get into a seizure, and you go over them and you expel this this serum from them, and you pump it into your own body, and it kind of puts you in this really super mode to take out almost anything that comes at you. Now I will say, if there is a downside to the game, the downside is the loading times. And if I was nitpicking, I would have to say that the difficulty does spike. I did select it on normal and I did find myself getting killed a few times. The game is never unfair. Uh, once I restart it, I will say the restore points are generous when you die. So it's you're never starting all the way back at the beginning. Uh, it usually puts you somewhere close to where you left off. And with that being said, I think just through practice, which is what I did, and, and, and thinking about how to attack this mob of characters that was coming out and learning their weapons and what they were coming with and, and the different moves that the character types had, I was able to succeed in my second run. I think the worst was my third run for a part of a level. So nothing ever too crazy and and it's fun because you feel like okay I, I just need to be a little better and beat-em-ups are generally like that if you've played um, beat-em-ups at the arcade if you played the recent streets of rage that was released right like you you know what i'm talking about so this shouldn't be anything new for anyone that really enjoys the genre now like i said i think this is an amazing game i think it was overlooked back then this is why i'm doing the review now because just from a pixel art perspective it's a beautiful game to look at it's dark it's gory the music is great and it's just loads of fun and there's not really much more that i can say that's really all that you want to expect from a game when you release it is that your players will enjoy it they'll have a good time and they're going to have an interesting experience and something new hopefully a twist on a genre that they've played before now the great thing about this is I think it's the perfect time to pick it up. It's under 20 bucks, I'd say digital on most platforms. And if you're really looking for like the limited run release of the collector's uh, edition, you know, you can get that on eBay and, and some other places. So there are lots of ways you can still find physical copies of this game for not a crazy price, but you know, digital is kind of the easiest way to go and it's a cheap way to go. And I would say if you like beat em ups if you're a fan of crazy over the top violence if you love pixel art and that old school feel right with some of the new school elements in gaming right such as you know, really generous uh, restore points then this is definitely a game you're going to enjoy go get this game you're not going to be disappointed you're definitely going to enjoy it 
support Devolver Studios. I think they're one of the better studios out there. They put out interesting, over-the-top games, but they're always fun and they're always good. So go out there and do yourself a favor and get yourself something that you can enjoy for a cheap price. Well, I'm that Game Dragon. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Smack that notification bell so you can get informed of all our great content. Leave a comment. Tell me if you picked it up, if you love it, if you already owned it. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video.